hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video and share it to your friends and your loved ones my name is Opsi and I do fashion videos I do beauty videos I do fragrance videos and lifestyle videos and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my favorite favorite fragrances for men I got a, quite a few questions about like my personal preferences when it comes to fragrances for guys and I thought to put up a list and just share with you guys I don't own all of them personally at the moment I'll just show you just a few of them and I'll start from the affordable ones when when I mean when I say affordable I mean the designer um, the designer fragrances and then I'll gradually like dive into the niche fragrances as well so the first one here i have on my list is called stronger with you by amani and i like the less intense one and the more intense one i think they have two flankers for this particular fragrance the stronger with you and stronger with you intense i absolutely love this fragrance because i feel like it has that sensual that sweetness that i'm talking about it has it and it's what projects like anytime i smell it i'm always like asking what are you wearing like what's what's this, it has a very good lasting power and the projection is amazing the projection is amazing so I'm just going to be reading out a few notes here it's a warm spicy vanilla fragrance and I told you earlier it's sweet and it has notes of pink pepper violet leaves chestnut vanilla amber wood like I said earlier it's a warm spicy fragrance it's it's aromatic it's sweet it's it's sensual but then it's still woody it's still a bit spicy so it's not just like a very nauseating um, um fragrance it's something that actually like, the, i think the chestnut in it kind of makes it a bit um not so sweet not like sugar sweet but like caramel sweet you know like it's just trust me it's you would love it armani stronger with you and i think they've also come up with the in love with you i don't know if it's for the men or for the women but They've come up with a new one recently. No, of course not this year. I think it was last year or something. And that is actually good as well. I kind of love the whole range of the with you with you because it's you stronger with you, whatever the Amani um, range. I think they do a lot of good fragrances and they don't really really smell the same. So that's my first thing. Stronger with you by Amani. The next one I have here from the designer point of view is the is the Versace Versace Eros. Hungarians pronounce S as sh. I feel like I have to, every time I see S now, it's always in my head, it's always sh. sh. So when I see Eros, I'm pronouncing that Eros. But yeah, Eros Flame. And I'm just going to read out the note to you guys. So this was a very like um, spicy fragrance, citrusy. It's fresh. I kind of, everybody likes the blue one, the Versace Eros. The blue bottle i feel like a lot of guys already own that or they're already familiar with that but it has something that just makes it very different from the from the um the blue one but people say that it smells like to me oh it doesn't feel like i don't feel like it smells like this smell like i'm blabbing i don't feel like this smell like i feel like i prefer the red bottle i don't know it just really is captivating to me it has notes of citrus black pepper rosemary tonka bean and vanilla and i love any fragrance that has tonka bean and vanilla i just think that it makes it very sensual it makes it sweet but not the the nauseating type of sweetness it just adds that like a bit of attraction to the fragrance it's a fresh spicy fragrance like i said and obviously when i say fresh spicy it means it's kind of clean it's kind of like um fresh boy scent like it's not it's not woody it's not like very strong it's not very um what's the word now it's not as strong as your wood if you're familiar with wood or woody fragrance but it's fresh so that freshness actually balances balances everything out the fact that it has a fresh vibe it has a spicy note and it also has the sweetness note just makes it an all-rounder for all rounder for me so i actually love this fragrance and i think you would love it too and if you are looking for gift ideas for your man i i would guarantee for a fact that at least one or two fragrances from this list would make his favorite so yeah versace eros flame <laughs> pardon all my grammatical errors guys Okay, so the next one I have here, and it's my absolute favorite, favorite designer fragrance for guys, like I am in love with this perfume. And I would own it, but I just feel like it doesn't smell that good on me. I would rather want to smell it on a guy. And this is no other or none other, but Dior Homme Intense. Listen guys, oh, Dior Homme Intense is like everybody's favorite. Like I feel like everybody, should know this fragrance it is amazing like it lasts long it projects 
very much well 100 yards like it's just so good your own intent you guys would love it it's so nice it's so nice like ah. it's a floral wood you know so obviously like it's not it's not strong but then there's just something that makes it very very attractive it's a floral note there are the floral notes in there it's a woody fragrance like i said now i always like my woody fragrance because i feel like you need that sort of strength it shows power it shows you know you're a boss yeah so it has notes of lavender it has notes of iris it has a musky notes in there which makes it a tad bit sweet or like you know the dry down just makes it very yummy it has pear and it has vetiver i absolutely love this fragrance guys like i can't even emphasize any more than this but it is so good and trust me you would love it if you just give it a chance add it to your collection guys your own things aqua digio absolute this is a recent release it just came out this year i haven't actually had the opportunity to wear it for a longer period of time to know the lasting power and the projection level of this particular fragrance but i know that everybody based on reviews anyways a lot of people have raved about the aqua digio the, the original one which is the black one but people haven't i've not really seen a lot of reviews about this particular one so it's the aqua digio absolute and i feel like it's probably the stronger version of that one i think the bottle is beautiful as well the bottle is very inviting very attractive but then the notes the 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 smell is so good i'm not really sure about the lasting power like i said earlier like i've not had the opportunity to wear it for long hours but i just love the first sniff of it i really love how it smells like it's a woody note have it in mind that any fragrance i'm giving you here has a good lasting power has a good projection this thing it projects really well and it smells really really good as well so that is why i'm giving you this don't look down on this list guys i really took my time to prepare this list for you guys so this particular one aqua digio absolute is a woody fresh and spicy fragrance it's very sensual and it's very warm and these are my favorite types of fragrance where if you want to hug the guy like you smell something and you're like oh my god i can't stop hugging you that is what you should be wearing for a guy if you're watching this video those are the kind of fragrances i feel you should wear of course there's time for everything in the sense that if you're going to the office if you're going to work you need something that's very clean something that's very fresh so that you don't intoxicate people around you if you're going for a dinner date these are the kind of i feel like these are the kind of fragrances that are ideal for dinner um for dates let me not say dinner so if you're going on date night or date day or whatever it is wear this fragrance and she would never forget that it smelled good on your first day it's very important for you to smell good guys very important yeah so it's a very sensual fragrance it's very warm it's very spicy it's fresh it's clean but then it does the job the notes here it has fruity notes it has patchouli i love patchouli in my fragrance because it kind of gives it a strong power power patchouli power <laughs> I, found, I sound so ridiculous right now but yeah i love patchouli in my fragrances very much lavender gives it a very calming scent and then tonka bean like i said i told you before that tonka bean and vanilla they play a huge role in making your fragrances very warm and cozy and very like cuddly and very inviting and sensual tonka bean is an amazing note to add in every fragrance i believe well depending on how it plays with other notes of course so it has tonka bean and it has labdenum i don't know how labdenum smells but that's what it says it has and i really like this fragrance i feel like it would do i think it will last a long time I, would, I don't know but i think at least five hours i think that's enough time to you know go on your dates right next one is k by dng now this k by dng is for food i love fresh scents fresh clean and not not so strong but like very i can tell that you're wearing a fragrance but it's not like intoxicating you you just smell really good you smell nice like you smell yeah, he's, he's not bad looking he's not bad smelling either like it's, it's kind of he looks like he's clean he's clean i feel like that's what i get from this particular fragrance though but this is k by d and g and this is your perfect work fragrance if you're going to the office or if you're working and you're looking for that fragrance that you can use as your everyday fragrance i think this is a good buy it's a fresh citrusy woody fragrance and it has notes of blood orange lemon berries cedar wood which i think gives that woody note cedar wood vetiver and patch paluchi patchouli yeah so obviously like i said it's a fresh fragrance it's spicy as well because of the blood orange it's spicy if you're looking for that every day i think this is the one for you k by dng 
I talked about this fragrance in my previous video, my previous fragrance video, and I talked about how this is called um, Dolce & Gabbana The One, but this is The Mysterious Night. So basically, it's the exclusive edition, and this right up here just means The Mysterious Night. I can totally smell this on a guy. I would love this on a guy. But then it has that bit of wood in it that just makes it very Middle Eastern, and that's why I really like this one. I think it has a bit of the DNA of the original um, Dolce & Gabbana the one, but then they've added like other notes in it to make it really, really, you know, attractive and very strong. It has notes of amber, rose, wood, saffron, grapefruit, um, tonka bean, like I said. So it's very warm. It's very like. It's not warm per se, but it's very fresh and clean, but yet it's woody, but the wood is not so strong. And the lasting power of this, guys, ah, it lasts, I'm telling you, at least eight hours. This thing lasts so long. It lasts a long time. And of course, it's quite, I wouldn't say it's quite pricey because I got this for about 40 something K, well, 150 ml. So of course, if they are like smaller bottles, it's going, obviously going to be cheaper, but this is so good i can totally smell this on a guy i can't i mean i don't wear it on myself anyways but oh it just has that fresh clean scent but then there's still that extra like with the dry when it dries down it has that that's when the wood comes out like the wood comes out that's when the amber or the rose comes out so like it balances really the opening note is nice and the dry down is perfect perfect so i really recommend this particular fragrance don't check up and do one like you can wear it as an everyday fragrance you can wear it for a special occasion you can wear it for a night out it literally is an all-rounder this particular fragrance so yeah the next fragrance i'm going to be showing you guys is called maison francis cordy <laughs> i don't know how to pronounce this particular name but it's called grand tour guys i just have the i have i bought the three the travel sets basically this it's a very cozy fragrance. Like I think there's a DNA. I think all, all MFK fragrances have a particular DNA that I actually really like. I wouldn't say all fragrances that I've smelled, I do I wouldn't say I would like to smell on a guy per se, but this particular part this particular one I find that I really, really, really love it. Like I can't I can't even emphasize. I just love the smell of this on a guy. And it lasts so long it lasts a very long time so yeah for this particular one it's a very amber fragrance a lot of amber in it there's vanilla in it and it starts the opening notes is labdenum that lab labdenum that we saw in aqua di Gio absolo is also here so ah uh, i really adore this fragrance on a guy i would hug you i would cuddle you i would literally everything smells so good there's vanilla in it there's tonka bean in it there is amber in it there's labdanum in it it's just a perfect fragrance for a night out for a date night for a date day day date <laughs> everything that you want to do this is perfect i would i i oh. i wouldn't say when you could wear this to work yeah but you have to spray it lightly because it's really really strong and the projection is on a hundred i would say if you're if you're going to wear this to the office then you should spray it lightly don't go heavy on it because it's really really um captivating it's very attractive it's a very attractive fragrance and i just like the dry down it dries down beautifully well it's properly mixed it's properly blended everything is just on point i love this particular fragrance and if you cannot it's quite pricey of course if you can't afford the full bottle which is I don't know probably 60 something k i don't know you can just buy the travel set of three which is about 20 something k or 30 k thereabouts and and it's very hands-on like you can literally just travel with this and put in your handbag or it's not heavy it's very light but you should be careful because the bottle is quite fragile perfumes the mali herod i personally don't own this but i have smelled it countless times i love the fragrance but i don't know if i love it on me right i think i would prefer it on a guy that's why I just kept it for the guys. I really, really love, and people wear it in the cooler months, anyways. So I don't know how it will perform in the warmer months or the summer, summer times. But I feel like because it, it rains, anyways, and in night it's quite chilly to an extent, you can still wear it in in summer. But yeah, it has it's a tobacco fragrance, 
and like i said i love my woody fragrance i love my woody fragrance i love my strong boozy fragrance as well and i also love tobacco fragrance guys i love it so much it smells so good so it has tobacco and it has vanilla the notes in this are cinnamon tobacco incense vanilla cedar and vetiver so if you're looking for a, a gift idea for something i mean if you want to make an impact because it's quite pricey it's really expensive perfume the man is an expensive brand you should i mean it's an investment anyways yeah but i recommend this one because i feel like it lasts a long time it's very nice it's very the projection is out there it's very potent it's very deep it's it's literally everything in one you would love perfume to manly herald check it out tom ford tuscan leather or ombre ombre leather so i don't own them but i love them if you're looking for your perfect leather fragrance like tom ford does see there's something that tom ford does here that i really like i don't know they just know how to I love Tom Ford brand. I love the brand. Like they really try. It's very, very durable. Tuscan leather is a very durable fragrance. Ombre leather is a very amazing fragrance. I literally love these two fragrances. It's amazing. Ombre leather is a bit subtle. It's more subtle than the Tuscan leather for sure. But if you're looking, if you're not into leather fragrances and you're just trying to start out, I would say start out. I would say just start with the ombre leather because it's quite wearable. It's it's inviting you can smell the leather in it but then it's not um it's not something that would turn you off it's not something that would put you off so if you want if you're already used to leather fragrances then just go for the tuscan leather it's, it's more pricey of course it's a leather fragrance and it's fruity and it's very long lasting like i'm telling you very very long lasting it's a fresh spicy citrusy woody fragrance and it has notes of citrus black pepper rosemary tonka bean and vanilla like it has all my favorite um, notes in one i adore them i adore this particular fragrance unfortunately i don't have it one day one day i'll get it but i really love this fragrance guys if you are into leather fragrances then this is your best buy so guys the next fragrance i have here is called santa royal by guerlain 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 if you check one of my previous videos i already talked about this fragrance where i did the, the review with the guys it's an amazing fragrance guys lay your hands on this one if you are into strong woods if you want a very strong woody fragrance a very strong aromatic fragrance a strong leathery fragrance a warm and spicy fragrance this is your best buy there's also if you want a dupe i think the swiss arabian range at shag have shag have um range they have um a perfect dupe for this particular one i don't know the exact name but if i do remember i would insert the name on the screen but like guys this perfume it will last all day till the next day till the next two days until you probably even when you wash your clothes you probably still smell a bit of it on it it's so long lasting it's so good it's so let me just read out the notes i can't even explain so the notes i have here for this particular fragrance it has sandal wood in it it has leather it has wood it has neroli it has cinnamon it has rose it has amber and it has musk this just screams bossy like you own the place like when you step in everybody's going to turn this is a neck toner this is a neck toner like everyone's going to turn and like who is that who was here oh my goodness honestly this smells so good guys make sure make sure make sure make sure make sure you lay your hands on this i mean everything i've told you right here i'm already saying lay your hands on them lay your hands on them but honestly this particular one everything just blended out well the fact that there's leather and the fact that there's wood everything is blended perfectly well and that's the beauty of fragrance like how you have like different very strong and individual notes and how all of them can just come out to come together to give you that beautiful scent that you would never ever forget and leaves a lasting impression I don't know this is also a very nice date night perfume in my opinion as a guy i feel like you want to wear something that is very inviting and very bossy and very sweet it's not so sweet but it, the dry down has some a bit it has a bit of sweetness to it so because of the vanilla of course but for a girl i i, I like this but i wouldn't wear this on the date night like i wouldn't wear it on myself but on a date night because i feel like i want to be more cozy i want to smell more warm and cozy and like sensual than bossy and i mean i like to smell bossy here yeah, but like something that was a bit more sweet than this one this is just more of i'm a boss 
I have all the money. <laughs> yeah, so that's Santa Royal by Guerlain. And I just want to give you guys an extra fragrance because I've given you guys 10 fragrances here just for an extra, extra, extra. Because anytime I wear this, I find that everybody, everyone is asking me, What are you wearing? What did you wear today? Anytime I put this on, and that's why I just had to get the full bottle because I'm like, Ah, this is definitely a signature scent or a staple because this thing is very pungent it's very strong it's very lemony citrusy but i love the project the dry down is just what kills me this thing you don't need so much just want to and you're fine the projection is wild like that's why i'm trying to recommend this to you guys it's called kalan fadinsi perfumes de mali kalan and it smells so good it smells amazing guys so just it has a um, note of blood orange in it and I, I don't know what else but it's a very unique scent it's not something that i feel like you have to be very careful with this one it might not it's not particularly loved by all but i feel this will smell really great on a guy to be honest because it's very unique it's nice it's it's different it's not something you smell on a regular day and that's the main reason why i really like this fragrance so yeah, that concludes my video guys for the favorite fragrances I would love to smell on the guy. I hope you guys are inspired. I hope you will try one or two of these fragrances. Let me know which ones you guys try out. Leave them in the comment, sec comment section below and which ones you want me to try out. And I will see you in my next video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to share it to your friends and your loved ones. I love you guys. Thank you so much.